How to set up your Bryant email for the first time. First, open an internet browser and navigate to mail.bryant.edu. Then, enter your Bryant username, including at bryant.edu, and click Next. Then, enter the password for your Bryant email and click Sign In. Now, Microsoft will ask for more information. Click Next. The first step to two-factor authentication is to download the Microsoft Authenticator app from your App Store. Please navigate to the App Store on your phone and download the Microsoft Authenticator app. Once in the app on your phone, make sure that you allow send notifications. When it asks you to add a personal account, click skip since we are adding a work or school account. On this screen, select add account. When it asks for a backup, please select continue. Now, select work or school account and allow access to the camera so we can scan the QR code. Click Next on your computer so that the QR code will appear. Once the QR code shows up, on your phone, scan the QR code. Once you see your Bryant account added to the Microsoft Authenticator app, then you can move on to the next step. The website will now try to send a notification to the app. In the app, select Approve Sign-In. You'll have to do this when you sign into your Bryant Office account in order to prevent other people from signing into your account. Once you have approved the sign-in, click Next. Now we have to set up a backup authentication method in case the app no longer works or you accidentally delete the app. Enter in your cell phone number here and click Text or Call. You'll either get a phone call from Microsoft or a text message with a code that you can enter here. Once you have verified your second step, click Next. Once you have completed both authentication methods, you'll see this success screen and you can click Done. When you get to this page, you can leave the language as default and from the drop down of time zones, select Eastern Standard Time. You will now be logged into your Brian email account and in the future, you'll be asked to approve sign-ins in order to prevent unauthorized access to your account.